In this episode, I'll show you how to get everything in focus from the closest object to the camera all the way to infinity. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, if you're a scenic photographer or you're a photojournalist or you're a travel photographer, sometimes you want everything in focus. And you can do that by understanding what hyperfocal distance and what the hyperfocal setting of your lens is. Now that seems sort of technical and confusing, but actually it's pretty simple. First, let me explain what hyperfocal means. It's the setting on your lens that gives you the most depth of field, the most in focus. And we do that with a combination of our lens, an aperture value, and how far away we're focusing. Now, every lens focuses at a distance, so you're focusing five feet away or 10 feet away or 40 feet away, and you're using an aperture value. And the combination of those two can give you different depths of field. Our hyperfocal di distance just means that half that distance, whatever it is, maybe you're focusing at 10 feet, half of that distance to infinity are gonna be in focus. So let's say you focus at 10 feet, well, everything from five feet to infinity will be in focus. It's the most focus you can get for the lens that you're using. Now, to make this simple, you need to understand three things, and that is the right lens to use, the right aperture value to use, and where to focus your lens. So let's start by talking about the lenses that we want to use. Now, if you want everything in focus, you need to start using a wide angle lens or use the wide angle part of your zoom lens. Now for this, I highly recommend that you use a prime lens, one of those lenses that is set. It doesn't zoom in or zoom out. And you wanna use a wide prime lens if you can. So something like a 35 millimeter or a 21 or a 28 millimeter lens. Now, I love my 35 millimeter lens. I made a video all about that. But for most in focus, I really enjoy shooting with my 21 millimeter lens and a 28 is pretty good as well. The point is use a wide angle lens. Now, the other thing that you need to have on your lens is a distance scale. So when you're focusing your lens, you need to be able to see how far you're focusing. You need to be able to look on your lens and say, oh, I'm focusing at three feet or six feet or 10 feet. Most prime lenses have that, some zoom lenses have that, but you need to have a distance scale. And even better is if you have a depth of field scale on your lens. Now this is a depth of field scale here on my 21 millimeter lens, and it will show me at different aperture values how much is in focus, and that makes the hyperfocal stuff really easy, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So we want a wide angle lens, preferably a prime lens, and we want one that has at least a distance scale, but at best, a distance and depth of field scale. The next thing we need to know is the aperture value to use. Now, I know many times I've said, and many photographers have tell you, that you want a really small aperture to get everything in focus, but that can be a mistake because if you go all the way to the smallest aperture of your lens, like f22 or something like that, well, you get this thing called diffraction where light is bouncing around in weird ways inside your lens, and that can actually make your pictures look less sharp than if you shoot at a wider aperture, something like f8 or f11. You wanna use the aperture value that's sort of in the middle. So f8 or f11 are your best choices, and I highly recommend using f8 if you're shooting at a 28 or 21 millimeter lens. It's gonna give you everything you really want, and it's gonna be really clear. Now the last thing you need to know is where to focus your camera, how far you need to focus. Well, you need to know the first two things to figure out the third. You need to know which lens you're using and you need to know the aperture value and then you need to use something called a hyperfocal distance calculator. Ah, that sounds so mathematical and horrible, but actually it's really easy uh, because you only have to do this calculation one time and everything is gonna stay the same forever. So if you're using a 21 millimeter lens and you're shooting an f8, then your hyperfocal distance is gonna be the same every single time. So once you know it, you just set your lens that same way every time and it's gonna work. But where do you find a hyperfocal distance calculator? Well, lucky for us, there's this awesome website. It's called outsite, S-I-T-E, dot com slash hyperfocal. And there is a depth of field calculator there and all kinds of cool depth of field stuff. So check that out. You can put in your lens, your camera size, because your sensor size impacts depth of field, the aperture value that you want to use, I suggest f8 or f11. Click a little button, it will tell you exactly where to focus your lens. 
So once you know all of that stuff and you've got your lens on, then you can say, you know what, I know at f8 at uh, the 21 millimeter that my focus distance should be about six feet. So you would just go and focus at six feet, set your aperture to f8, and then you're done. If you have a depth of field guide on your lens like this one does, it's even easier. You don't have to go to that website and figure anything out. All you have to do is look at your depth of field guide, set your aperture. So I'm going to set mine at f8 on this lens. If I had a different lens, maybe I would set my aperture value in the camera. It doesn't matter how you set your aperture. You just have to set it first. And then you look on the depth of field guide and you just move the infinity until it lines up with the aperture value you're using. So if for this instance, it's f8 and you're set. That's your hyperfocal distance. And then you can see that everything at f8 from infinity all the way over to about three feet is going to be in focus. Three feet all the way to infinity. If I change my aperture value to f11, well then I would just shift this so my uh, infinity is over the 11 and then everything is going to be in focus from, oh gosh, about two feet all the way over to infinity. And that's all you have to do. Shooting at hyperfocal is awesome because you get everything in focus. In fact, here's a bunch of pictures I've used using this technique. And you can see everything from, in this picture, the flowers all the way to the French Senate building is in focus. You can see I've shot street photography, scenic photography, some journalistic kind of stuff using a wide angle lens, the right aperture value, and the right focus distance. Now the good news is once you've done all this, you've put in your lens, you've put in your aperture value, f8, and then you've set your distance, don't focus again. That's very important. Make sure you have your lens set to manual focus. If you're using a DSLR camera, there's a gotcha because when you look through the viewfinder of your DSLR camera, the aperture is wide open. So you're not seeing that everything is in focus. You're seeing selective focus. If you want to see everything that's in focus, there's a little button at the bottom of your camera. And it's a depth of field preview button. If you push that, it will close down the aperture and then you'll see that everything is in focus. But don't be tempted to refocus because once you have your focus set, everything's going to be in focus. Just trust it and then you can focus on your composition and you can just shoot away. The last thing, you want to set your camera to aperture priority mode so that your aperture stays the same and your shutter changes based on the light or shoot in manual mode if you want to. But once you have things set, just forget it and have a blast. Just look at what you want to take pictures of, take those pictures, you'll see everything's in focus and you're going to get those everything close to infinity pictures that you love and that you want and it's totally liberating because you're just sort of pointing and shooting and focusing on composition and storytelling and all the things that make it fun to take pictures. So do that. Well, that's all there is to hyperfocal shooting. Get the right lens, the right aperture value, figure out the distance that you need to shoot, set your lens and forget it and just get out there and shoot. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. There's a bunch more about hyperfocal distance and depth of field that is on the Adorama Learning Center and on Adorama TV. We've posted links to it in the description of this video. So check those out if depth of field and those types of things are new to you. And we have a long video about hyperfocal distance and what it all means and funny graphics and stuff like that. So you can check that one out as well. But thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click that subscribe button. Every single video is absolutely free. Thanks again and I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.